Welcome to the first Ask Boomer Tech Adventures. What we're going to do in this video blog is we're going to respond to questions that we have received from uh, clients, from past adult ed uh, participants, uh, for friends and family. So uh, this is Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and with me you can see are my colleagues Ed and Chris. Now, our first question has to do with syncing our devices, our Apple devices, how we have, how we make sure that what we see on our iPhone is the same that we see in our iPad, is the same we see on uh, our computer or any version of that. And the question came from one of my adult ed participants. She said, you know, I used to sync my music on my iPhone to my computer through iTunes. And when I open iTunes, I'm not seeing my iPhone listed anymore. And I, I, I don't know how to do it. So we have a couple of suggestions. And uh, Chris is going to start us off with something we can do to uh, make sure that our devices are set to sync. Chris? Yeah, so, um, you know, this is, this is pretty straightforward, this first suggestion. And I, it's usually the first suggestion that I, I think we all, we all try if, you know, things aren't working the way we would like them to. And that's basically turning your devices off, waiting a few minutes, and then turning them back on again. So you have two devices that you're working with here, um, or actually maybe three, but I'll talk about the two. So your computer, uh, which is where you're gonna be syncing your uh, information uh, to, is gonna be um, your laptop or your desktop. And what you wanna do basically is to shut it down. So you, you do have the option of restarting your computer, but I would suggest that you actually um, shut it down and then restart it. And what that does is it basically will uh, reset all of the connections to your devices and to your hard drive, uh, which can sometimes be a problem when you're trying to do anything on your computer. So um, shut it down, wait maybe two or three minutes and then start it back up again and see if that works. Uh, the other device that you'll be working with will be your iPhone or your iPad, your iOS device. And what you wanna do with that one is you'll wanna do what's called a, um, a reset. And usually depending on the uh, age of your device, uh, you may be, you know, pushing your home button and your power button at the same time, whatever it is you're going to be doing, what you want to get to is you want to get to the screen where you actually have to push the slider to turn your device off. And you'll hit that slider, your device will go dark, and then you can wait a couple minutes and then restart just by you know, hitting and holding your power button and then the Apple should show up if you're on that Apple device and that will basically be restarting it. So after you've done both of those, and I would suggest you do them both, um, then try, try syncing. So that's, that's, what I, that's the first thing that I would try to do. I mentioned the third thing, uh, device, and that's um, your router. Uh, in other words, if you're, if you're using your, your network, to, uh, to try to do the syncing, you could do the same thing. And that is to basically unplug or shut down your, um, your router in, and modem in, in, your, in your house or wherever you're working and get that to restart as well. So those, the, your, your two devices and also your router, if, if you're having some problems there and to try that. Okay, thank you. And that, that shutting off is a really good idea. I'm not sure what's with my iPad. It might be because I've dropped it on its head so many times, but I have to restart it at least once a day. Actually, I think it's my internet service that needs to be um, 
kind of rebooted, but I do um, restart my, my iPad regularly and that clears up any glitches. So when I got, I was the one that got this question about why can't I sync through um, iTunes, what's happening? And uh, I was a little bit taken aback because I thought that's how you did it. I said, eh, maybe I better do a little research. Well, lo and behold, I found out if your computer has been updated to the Catalina system, Catalina no longer syncs phones and the computer via iTunes. It's now through the Finder window. And so if you do a little bit of uh, research, like I did, Google, simply Google Finder window syncing or Catalina syncing iPhone and computer, you will find uh, sites that will tell you how to do it. And this, uh, I gave this information back and the person tried it. And at first she said, well, it's not working. And then she said, no, I've been impatient. Um, if I gave it time, it worked. So th for those of you with uh, Mac laptops or computers and you've updated to Catalina and you're trying to sync, uh, know that you don't do, do it through iTunes anymore. It's through the Finder window. Now, in addition, I always like to remind people that it's important to make sure that you have got your settings right in order for things to connect across. Now I have an iPad, an iPhone, and a Mac. And I want to make sure that if I make notes on my Mac in my notes app, that they also show up on my phone. For example, if I do a grocery list on my uh, computer while I'm sitting and think, oh, I need dog food, blah, blah, blah. So I add it to my grocery list. I want to make sure when I open that app in the grocery store that it's there. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad and you want to make sure it syncs with other Apple devices, what you have to do is you go to settings. And once you open that main settings page, you will see your name at the top and you tap on it and that will take you to a new screen. Then you're going to look down and you'll see iCloud and you need to tap on that. Below you will see all the possible apps that use iCloud. And if you turn them on, you make sure they're turned on, then you go on and you do it the same thing on your iPad, make sure they're all turned on and your iPhone and your iPad will sync. And if you also have a computer, you can't go to something called settings, you go to system preferences, which is up in the upper left hand corner of your screen under the Apple, you go down to system preferences, and you tap on internet accounts. And then you tap on iCloud. And again, you check the apps you want to sync. So that's important. That's a real basic step to make sure you have let your devices know what you want um, to be connected across your Apple devices. And the last thing, of course, is your photos. A lot of us take a lot of pictures with our iPhone. If we want them also to show up in our Photos app on our computer or on our iPad, we have to make sure we've turned on PhotoStream. The way you do that on iPad and an iPhone is once again, you go to the settings. Only this time you're gonna scroll down to see photos. You're gonna tap on photos. And when you will do, you'll see that there is an option to um, upload to my photo stream. And you need to make sure that's turned on. With your computer, you are again going to that system preferences. You're going to go again to internet accounts and the iCloud and you want to make sure that photos is turned on. Now the caveat with uh, photo stream is it only will do a thousand pictures to make sure that they show up in all your photos apps on all your devices. Once you hit a thousand pictures, you either have to start deleting some or know that they are not going to work on um, in PhotoStream. 
So those are my suggestions on how you can uh, be sure that your devices are linking. And I know Ed has a couple of more. Just a couple reminders. <clears throat> and this was interesting too, Jill and Chris, because yesterday I was working with one of our clients who, um, who wasn't sure whether her um, iOS devices, specifically her phone and her um, iPad were syncing or not. So we just checked out a couple things. And a couple things that, that we needed to check were um, that she was on the same network because as Jill said, we're no longer with newer devices, we're no longer connecting with a cable through iTunes, we're connecting through iCloud, which is uh, you can see in Finder as Jill said. So make sure if you have access to a couple different uh, networks at home, we have our regular network at my house and then we have a guest network. Sometimes my computer, and I've got to figure this out, connects to the guest network automatically and my iOS devices are on our regular. So um, when you're syncing, you need to make sure what, whatever devices you're connecting need to be on the same network. So that may not be a problem at your house. The other thing is, and hopefully you don't have this issue, um, you need to be across the devices working on, from the same Apple ID. If you have a, a couple Apple IDs, sorry about that, that's another whole issue. <laughs> But you just need to make sure that you're you're using the same Apple ID if you're trying to sync to the two devices uh, that you're trying to sync. Chris already talked about restarting, um, and it was very yesterday with this with this woman. It was very easy. She just had not even turned on her iCloud um, connections on the two iOS devices, and once we did that, it was instantaneous. It worked very well. So there are again some suggestions just to do a fast recap. <clears throat> when things aren't working right, turn them off and turn them back on again. Oh, looks like Chris wants to add something. So I just, I, I want to add um, the solution of last resort. All right, and this is fitting for at the very end. This is really, if nothing else, is working. And that's literally doing what's known as a hard reset. And it's easy to do, but it's irreversible. So seriously, only if you have tried everything else and it's not working. And the way you do that is you'll go to your settings. That's the little gear um, icon. And then you'll go to general and then you'll slide down to reset. Now, in the reset option, um, it's going to say erase all content and settings. And when that pops up, if you tap on that, you will go to a, what's called a factory reset of your device. That means your device will revert to when you first pulled it out of the box. So all your data will be gone. So that's the last resort, but it is something that can solve a multiple um, number of problems when you're trying to use your device. That's the last resort. Yeah. Okay. Usually those other things are going to work, work well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you won't have to use the last resort, but you know it's there. So again, recapping when you're trying to sync and it doesn't seem to be working. One of the first things you can do is turn your devices off all the way off and turn them back on. It's kind of like uh, a reboot and it refreshes the software. The second thing is uh, check and see if you're, if you're using a computer and you're trying to sync your iPhone or your iPad, check and see if you're using Catalina. And again, you can find that in the, if you go up to Apple and um, the little black Apple or it's a white Apple and you click on it, you'll see about this Mac. I'm doing it now, so I make sure that I say it right. 
and a little um, box will pop up and mine says Mac OS Catalina. So I know that I'm using Catalina. If you're using Catalina, you don't use uh, iTunes anymore to sync, you use the Finder window. Secondly, make sure, as we've said a couple of times, that on your iOS de uh, devices, that in settings you have turned on iCloud and the apps you want to sync through iCloud and the same with uh, your computer, only it's system preferences. And then again, you've got the option with your photos to make sure you're uploading to your photo stream, but you have to set that up in settings also in the um, phone tab. I'm sorry, the photo tab. So we will be doing uh, these video blogs on a regular basis. Uh, again, using questions that we receive, and uh, we hope you will find this instructive, and um, that's it for today, and have a good day. Bye-bye.